Hey guys, so in this video we are going to be making some random patrols as you can see here with some uh, NPCs. So let's dive in. Alright, so to get started we are going to be needing an NPC. So we are going to be uh, duplicating our third person character. Uh, let's call this NPC. We are going to be opening it, and since we are not going to be needing any of this, you can just delete it. Uh, we are also not going to be needing the comma, so we can just go right ahead and delete that. Um, so now we are actually going to be needing a behavior tree. So we are going to right click, uh, let's look for behavior tree, uh, let's call this BT um, NPC, let's open it, and usually uh, you also make a blackboard where you can store um, all the variables that you are going to be needing f uh, to use the behavior tree, but uh, in this case uh, we are not going to be doing that since what we are going to be doing is actually uh, pretty simple so we can just go drag this from the root uh, we can choose a sequence so now we are going to be making a new task we're going to go over to our left here, it says override function. Let's use, um, let's see, execute AI. Okay, so from here, uh, we are going to be looking for get random, get a random reachable point in radius. So this function needs an origin location, so we are going to be using the controlled pawn as the origin location. So from here we are going to be doing get actor location. This function also needs a radius, so we can use uh, 5000 and then from here if this is true let's plug this in we are going to want to move to the random location so we can just go right ahead and look for AI move to and the pawn is going to be our control pawn the destination is going to be our random location and now to end the task we are going to be doing finish execute Okay, so let's actually rename this to, to random location. We're, go we're going to go back to our behavior tree and we are going to be calling our task that we just made. Move to random location. So after we move to the random location, we are going to do a wait of one second, one second. Now back to our NPC blueprint, on begin play, we have to call, we have to execute um, this behavior tree. So we are actually going to do one behavior tree. 
Now this function is going to need an AI controller, so we can just go right ahead and look for get AI controller. We are go going to plug this in right here and on the controlled actor variable we are going to put self on it and we are going to be selecting our behavior tree so on begin play we tell it to run the behavior tree we're going to uh, move to a random location we're going to wait one second then the tree is going to loop again and do the same thing so Uh, also one thing uh, that you absolutely have to do is, if you haven't already, is to look for a nav mesh bounce volume and you can drag it uh, onto the map so that you can actually uh, walk around. So after you've done that we just have to put in the uh, the NPC in the map and it should work now we should be seeing um, all these NPCs um, start to move to random points within a radius of 5000 so let's go right ahead and see and there you go all these NPCs are moving now to a random location within a 5000 uh, centimeter radius. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching.